Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. And today, I will teach you how to make use of your Canva to make worksheets and presentations. Just watch it and learn about this video. See you guys! Hello there everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. At this moment, I will teach you how to make use of your Canva in making worksheets and for school presentations. So whether you are a teacher or a student, this will help you. First, let us go to the Google browser and let us all type canva.com and press enter. Just wait for a while and it will bring you to the Canva website. First, you need to sign up whether you have your Google or you can use your Google account, you can use your Gmail or your Facebook account. And then, since I have mine already, so I will teach you how to create a design and how to make your own worksheets. So these are all the designs that you can see in the browser. You have the different buttons, you have the different icons also. And for you to create and make your own design, just click the create design that, which is located at your upper right part. So here are all the options where you can make use of your Canva. There's a lot of things. You can create a thumbnail, videos, or clip art, something like that, poster, presentation. So first, I will teach you how to make worksheet. So here's the worksheet part. Okay, so in the worksheet part, you can see at your left, there is what we call the search bar. Okay, you can type whatever type of template that you will do for your worksheet. So in my case, uh, this is very useful for me, the KWL chart. Uh, that means what I know, what I want to know, and what I learned. So after that, you just save it in a PDF file. And also you can edit it, just double click those boxes so that you can edit the text. And you can also copy the page and add new page. Okay, then when you add new page, it will be like this. And uh, you can search more worksheets. Okay, it depends on your uh, lecture, it depends upon your discussion, what type of worksheets that you're going to do with your students. Okay. Then I will select another one and maybe I can use this one. Then I will just, you know, customize it and uh, just make it uh, like this worksheet is one of my works, okay? So, and also that is suitable for my student. So I can uh, edit a little bit, something like that, and then download it. There you go, there's the download icon, like an arrow downward. Okay, then PDF is the file format. So just download it, and then just wait for a second, or a minute I guess, and then the canvas says it's preparing your design. Then if you want to get the premium, then you can get it, because some of the photos or images or other stuff that you will get here has their own watermarks so if you want to remove the watermarks just get the premium one so here's my worksheet already I downloaded from the Canva so it's in PDF file and you can you know just send it to your students and they can make use of computer or internet so that they will be able to answer your worksheets okay so that's how you do and make your worksheets using your Canva. And then, you can make use of other things. And then, when you go home, you can do like, make your own design, make your own logo, make your own uh, Instagram post, video, poster, like also flyers and other stuff. So, uh, you can make use of your Canva in a very wide range in teaching. So, watch the next one, okay? Okay, at this moment, I will teach you how to make presentation in your own Canva. Last time, I teach you how to make your own worksheet or activity sheet. So, like what we did last time, 
just go to your own Canva and then see here you can create your design. So at this moment, we will create a presentation. Just click presentation and then just wait for it. And then a blank space or a blank slide here will appear. And then for example, we have this design. Let's have this design. And then you can close it. And then you can change the color, whatever color you want. So let's try for the gray one. And then just double tap this one. And let's type technology. Okay, so you can minimize the font size okay, over here. Then double tap this one and type the world of gadgets. Okay, there you go. And you can now close this one. So you can add new page over here. So here, you can put some photos or you can put some elements that is related to your topic. So for an instance, I will put some elements it's like stickers, something like that. Technology. Okay, just press enter. Then all the stickers or elements that is all about technology will come out. And all you have to do is to click and then drag it to your presentation or slide. Oh, okay, this time after putting up the different pictures that is related to your topic, you can now close this one and then put some text. So you can add some heading. Then there you go. And then just move it a little bit here. Then again, let's type technology. And then let's start with the subheading and definition. Okay, and then add a little bit of body text. So in the body text, let us define technology. It is the practical application of knowledge. So you can again uh, change the font style and font size of this one. So if you want to change it, just go to your left side over here and then try to choose what kind of uh, font style you want or font size you wanted to have. Okay. So over here, let's try to do this one. Delete this one and delete this one. There you go. Delete this one and again delete this one. Okay. Then if that's okay, if you are done, you can also insert some music, something like that, videos, change the background, and upload something. Okay. Right after that, we can now download it. When you download it, suggested is PDF file. So, you need to download it. So, if you want to have an account or if you want a premium account, you can pay it. Okay, if you do not have, so you can go for the free one. And this is just an example and a free trial on how to make presentation in your own Canva. I hope you learned something today and thank you for watching. This is your teacher, Teacher Daryl Del Mundo. See you next time.